Uh, my dad left when I was about three. Uh, him and my mom divorced. Um, he eventually started suffering from alcoholism, which, which led him to prison. Uh, my mom remarried. She remarried a man that, uh, that was abusive. He severely beat her every week. Um, and uh, she started to struggle from drug addiction after that. Um, by the time I was 13, I joined a gang. Uh, where I started smoking and drinking and, and using drugs myself. Um, around the age of 16, I, I started using heavy drugs like cocaine. Um, I, had, I OD'd from cocaine. Um, a couple years down the road, I started selling drugs myself, uh, running the streets, selling dope. I had, my, I had a son at the age of 23. Um, I don't think at the time I was ready to be a father or a husband. I, I wanted to inside, but I was still living a life just partying and stuff. Um, a couple months after my son was born, I got I got hurt real bad. I got run out. I got robbed, and I got pistol whipped and shot. And um, after that, I, I struggled um, to recover on the end, physically, uh, mentally, and emotionally. Um, I had some wounds inside of me that was hard to get out, and it was, I was struggling. You know, I fell into a depression. Um, I found myself living from couch to couch. Uh, uh, house to house partying, I'm just using drugs, you know. I think, believed to just to mask my sadness. Um, I, at that time, I picked up a meth habit. I uh, started smoking meth uh, every day. Um, me and my son, I got my son's mother, we started using together, and um, she eventually got saved from the, with, from the Lord, and um, she, she quit the drugs and everything, and um, I continued to use them. So I went to stay at my mom's house one night and I said a prayer. I wrote a prayer to God. I said, God, I need your help. Can you come take me by the hand and um, take my life? I, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to live like this more. I need your help. Well, the next morning, um, arranged, something happened where I would have to, I was given the option to go to jail. And um, I could either go or I didn't have to go, but uh, I remember the prayer and I was like, all right. I remember praying to God about this. I was like, man, this is from God, you know? So I said, okay, I'll go. They said I would go to jail for a month, and after that I would go out to Lubbock for about six months. Um, at that, I just remembered that prayer, you know. I remember praying to God and asking Him for help, you know. Um, so when I went to jail, I was in there, and everybody's frustrated and aggravated and, and just mad because they're in jail, but I'm in there, and I'm like, I'm happy, I'm excited. I just felt this relief off me. I felt God just, just took, I just seen His new life ahead of me. and. Um, so I just grew in Christ, you know. I, I, I prayed every day and I was like, God, you know, lead me, guide me, direct me, take me where you want me to go. And um, he just changed my life from there, you know. I came back on a Sunday. I came to the church and visited and um, I was looking for somewhere to sit with my son and um, Amy Marsh, she flagged me over. She said, come, you know, come sit with them. So I went and sat with them and after the service, she introduced me to her husband, Jim. And they invited me and my son out to lunch and we went. and. They also invited us later on at night to a life group. So I said, sure, we went to life group and, um, and we just became such good friends after that. And, and he just continued to do more things in my life. He, he brought me and my son's mother back together. We started our relationship back up and it's just been so real. It's been so real that um, we're actually getting married today. So there's a passage that stuck with me that I read and it was, um, it just really touched me. And it was the Lord, it was in the book of Acts. It was part, it was, a, Book of Acts 26, 16, and uh, Paul asked, who, are, who is it? And Jesus said, for I have appeared unto you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness of both the things you have seen and the things I have yet to reveal to you. That way you can go out and you can help those that are trapped in the dark and bring them out of the dark and bring them back into the light. Bring them, back, bring them out of the power of Satan and back into the rule of God and let them know that they can still receive forgiveness for their sins and get the inheritance that he has in store for them. Um, all them curses that were in a generation, I believe that they stop right here. Um, they, they are now done with uh, through me. I'm able to stop it from going to my son and him going to his children. Uh, all the long life of the, the drugs and the hurting and the pain, we can stop it right here.